Hey, this is Nick the Mining Book Guy, and today I've got a book that uh, is, is recent but probably should be more well known than it currently is. The Value Investors by Ronald Chan came out in 2012. What's neat about it is it's not about Warren Buffett, uh, and it's not directly about Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett's uh, teacher in, in uh, value investing, but it's about many of Benjamin Graham's other students. Uh, either directly students or in other parts of the world. So in the early part of the book, you have a few students that have recently passed away, but what's neat, uh, Walter Schloss and Irving Kahn, I think these are you know, their best interviews they've ever done. Uh, Walter died in his 90s, Irving Kahn died over 100 year years old, and uh, those are you know valuable in themselves for this book. There's a few others uh, that, that are Americans, but then in th near the end of the book, you have a bunch from East Asia uh, from places like Malaysia and Japan and Hong Kong, where I believe the author Ronald Chan is from. And that's really neat to get that perspective as well, because I can't think of another book that has them. And then just as a kicker that's a little more related to mining, uh, in the middle you have uh, Jean-Marie Eviard, who is French but um, em emigrated to, uh, to the U.S., and he has much more of a focus on gold, which is, tends to be rare uh, because a lot of value investors tend to be you know, more obsessed with companies that are, are more typical, not, not in the mining. But that really gives a, a neat perspective. And I can't think of another book that has him as well. There's, of course, some other great interviews as well. But if you haven't heard of this book and you have any interest in investing, definitely uh, pick it up. Uh, th this, this is a great one uh, that, you sh that you shouldn't miss. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to email me at miningbookguy at gmail.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe.